Hello and welcome to Keys TV News. I'm Tom Rowland. Protesters have been spending the night at a Manchester park after breaching a security fence. Up to 70 people got into Alexandra Park with some pitching tents and others building tree houses. The council intends to fell nearly 300 trees as part of a £5 million project to return the park to the way it looked in Victorian times. Eccles is in the top five in the country for burglaries. A new survey has revealed that Eccles jumped from the 946th spot to the fourth in national crime statistics. However, Greater Manchester Police has reported crime across the borough has fallen by 11%. Luckily they didn't get in and steal anything, but they did attempt to come in and they got into one of my neighbours' flats. The police initially took about 40, 45 minutes to get here, which wasn't, you know, ideal because I had to be gone somewhere and they could come back in that time, so I wasn't too happy about that. Um, and the guy never ended up getting caught, so there wasn't much they could do. But I know we've got a decent set of neighbours in the actual apartment complex and they look out for each other, so that sort of works. Because there is such a high crime rate, especially like petty crimes in Sarah, such like, you know, burglary and theft and all that sort of stuff, I think they should definitely put up more CCTV cameras and definitely try to enforce the rules a lot stronger and make the punishments a bit more harsh for people who do commit these smaller crimes because they escalate and they'd get away with it. House prices in Salford have increased due to the BBC's move to the £1 billion media city. More than 2,000 BBC staff have moved here, with many relocating from London. The average home in Salford is now worth around £91,000, more than 6% rise on last year. This is the largest price increase in any part of Britain outside of the capital. Recent figures have shown an increase in the number of online gamblers in the UK. A huge increase in gambling addicts will make Britain's obsession with online betting a £2 billion business. New evidence has revealed that the number of people in danger of becoming problem gamblers has nearly reached 1 million, whilst hardcore addicts have, have doubled in, in six years to almost 500,000. MPs are now considering legislation in an attempt to reverse the growing trend. This week, the university hosted a talk by a current neuroscientist as part of the public lecture series at the University of Salford. Tom Liddy reports. This presentation by Dr Daniel Glazer is the latest in a series of public lectures organised by Mary Oliver here at Salford University. Today's lecture, hosted by neuroscientist Dr Daniel Glazer, posed the question, are we all interdisciplinary now? The question is, um, is it possible for people anymore to say that they do one thing? I mean, are you just you know, a journalist? Is he just a cameraman? Are the people watching anything single and simple? Or is everybody you know, a waiter who's training to be an actor or a writer who really wants to be on the telly? I'm going to argue that it might be a good idea uh, to focus for some points of your career on just one thing and to become deeply engaged with it. Uh, certainly, you should be looking around at other disciplines from time to time. And it's useful to be able to describe what it is you do in terms that make sense to other people. So you'll be tempted, if you're an academic, for example, to find really obscure ways of describing what you do, because that makes you seem very smart. Upcoming speakers in the series include Mike Joroff and Steve Benford. This is Tom Lilly reporting for Keys TV News. Creative technology students in Salford have been showcasing their best work in an exhibition open to the public. Jonathan Blackburn reports. The students here at the University of Salford who study MA Creative Technology have been hard at work preparing for their latest showcase, an exhibition which is open to the public here at Media City UK. The course is within the School of Art and Design and it's dealing with the use of new technologies and digital media. My project is to do with alternative experiences of audio, uh, studying how we can perceive audio not only with our ears but with our eyes, hopefully giving us a new way to contemplate sound in an alternative interactive environment. I've been working with uh, audio technology for a number of years and most recently I've been working with interactive kinetic sculpture and electronics. I wanted to bring those two fields together to create an interactive experience that was unique and interesting, a little contradictive in its aims and what's included. Uh, and the resulting piece has been quite interesting. They began this particular module, which is their final master's module, um, uh, back in, uh, in July 2012. So they've been working on this over the over two semesters now and uh, this is the final uh, culmination of that particular module assignment. They will know shortly after uh, our external examiner has uh, been to review the, to review the work and uh, we've had all our, all our marks ratified and hopefully they'll all be graduating in, in July this year. 
This is Jonathan Blackburn reporting for Keys News. That's all for this week's Keys News. Don't forget, if you have a story you think we should be covering, get in touch with us via our Twitter page, at Keys News, and visit our website, keysnews.net. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.